Last week we showed you guys a simple way to secure your kayak for transportation. Today we're going to try and sift through the mysteries and misconceptions of adding bow and stern lines. Speaking of mysteries, I have no idea why Brian is wearing David's name tag. Maybe it's because Brian doesn't have a name tag because he's just our fishing guy, and you'd think he'd know one or two things about knots. Wow. Simply put, a bow line is a line of rope or strap running from the bow or front of your kayak to the front of your vehicle. The stern line does the same thing, only it runs from the stern of your kayak to the rear of your vehicle. The concept isn't the confusing part. That lies in the misconception of what these lines actually do. The only purpose of bow and stern lines is to ensure that your kayak does not go careening down the road like a torpedo into another vehicle. That's it. It's an extra safety precaution. It's a good idea to use bow and stern lines anytime you're going at higher speeds such as the highway or interstate, in any state that requires it, during heavy loads, long drives, and if you're in doubt, just use them. Connecting your strap to the bow and stern of your kayak is pretty simple. Find one of the grab loops and run it through. Next you're going to want to find a point on the front and the rear of the car. If your car doesn't have tow hooks or you don't like the idea of climbing around on the ground, you've got another option. These are hood loops. It's a rubber hose with a loop made out of webbing. Simply put the rubber in under your hood or inside your trunk and close down. This will give you a secure loop to attach your boat to. At the shop, we generally prefer just using regular rope. If it comes undone, it won't smash into your window, and it's much safer if something does happen. And much like the kayakers at Alder Creek, it's simple. There are a few of systems that come marketed as bow and stern lines, but be careful. Most of these systems come with some type of ratcheting strap. The problem is we're only trying to get the rope to hold the boat on if it were to come off. There should be no extra tension pulling on the front and the back of your boat because these are two of the weakest points to tighten down. So now you know. Next week, we're going to show you something naughty. No, Brian. We're going to show you some of our favorite methods for tying down boats and some of our favorite knots that we use constantly here at the kayak shop. If you have any questions about this method or anything else that has to do with kayaking, make sure you let us know in the comments or reach out to us at Alder Creek. For now, go confidently knowing that your kayak is strapped securely to your car and that you've got the extra precaution of bow and stern lines. <laughs>